Hey there all craft beer lovers. Thanks for joining me for this beer review. Well, as you can see, we've got a special treat on the table tonight, guys. We're going to Belgium, going to Brewery Haig, or Haig, however you pronounce it. I do apologize right away if I'm totally mispronouncing the Belgian names here. But as you can see here on the table, we got ourselves a mixed pack, a mixed box. There we go. It's uh, called Saint Eidsbald, or Saint Eidsbald, uh, for Abbey Beers in a mixed box. Uh, as you can see there, we got ourselves a blonde, which which is the beer I'm going to review today, 6.5% there. We got ourselves a Donka at 8%. We got ourselves a Triple at 9%, and an Amber at clocking at 7%. Four beers. I'm going to turn it around a little bit quickly here. It's a big box. Uh, now here, it's all in Swedish. Of course, it's translated, you know. But it's all there and a little bit of description of the beer. So I just wanted to showcase that for you. Because that's not the main thing, right? Because this is. We're going to, as we said, Brewery Haig. And this is their St. Eidsbald Blonde. Clocking in at 6.5%, 330 ml bottle. There's the bottle cap. And there's uh, the back there, brewed with water, barley malt, hops, and yeast, they say. And uh, the rest is in Belgian, so I can't really read it to you. But there you go. Look at that. There we go. So with that said, guys, let's pop the top, see what we get. A little bit of Belgian-style Abbey beers tonight. Let's give it a go, see what we get. There we go. Good deal of smoke on that bottle opening. Oh my goodness me. Crazy. Crazy, crazy carbonation. Right. I'm going to pick that up. There we go. Look at that. Now, I just poured actually not much of the beer in that glass, but it, it is heavily carbonated. We got ourselves like four fingers worth of white head. Massive, but it seems to be dissipating a little bit there. Uh, dark honey golden color, I would say, on that beer. You can hear the carbonation hiss and fizz. Now, Belgian beers tend to be quite lively, so it, not, nothing unusual at all. Lovely presentation onto the nose. Okay, there we go. Again. Yeah, very Belgian, very yeasty. Yeasty, a little bit of banana, clove, spicy. Yeah, I mean, it's very typical Belgian style on the nose, let me tell you. Smells nice. Smells real nice. That banana shines through, so with that said, let's dive in, see what we get. Cheers, everybody. It's okay. It's okay. It's very much a Belgian beer, guys. Very much a traditional Belgian style. It's yeasty. Quite dry. A little bit of clove, a little bit of banana coming through. Certainly. A little bit of a slightly bitter aftertaste. Not super bitter. Uh, let's see if we can pour a little bit more in there. See what we can get here there we go so yeah I'm, I'm trying as you can see guys i'm pouring quite gently here because it's super super carbonated there but i mean it's not a bad beer now one thing however which is kind of a little bit on the downside it is quite thin to be honest i get this is for me quite a thin beer thin uh, body mm. Mm. Quite easy drinking. Uh, there is a slight funkiness, like a metallic vibe to it. Now, I'm going to get the rest of that beer out, guys. See if we can. Yeah, we can. There we go. Okie dokie. So, uh, yeah. 
St. Eidsbald or St. Edesbald, uh, and this is their blonde 6.5% ABV uh, in this mix pack here of four beers, Belgian mix pack. I think it's a very, very nice idea actually to do this. Uh, this is a this is an okay beer, guys. It's an okay beer. It's not one of the best Belgian beers I've ever had. Uh, there is a kind of a metallic uh, uh, vibe to this one. Thin bodied for being a Belgian beer. Yeasty, bit of banana, bit of clove, but I mean it's very drinkable. Six point five percent. But it, I mean it's a nice it's a nice beer overall, you know. A little bit thin, however, but that's how it is, right? So this was the first one to go out of this mix pack. I'm going to review the other one. So uh, Brewery Haig or Haig, St. Einsbold, Blonde, 6.5%. Uh, for me, I'm going to give it a 3.25 out of 5. Uh, thank you for watching.